already. I am in the middle of a crowd. <laughs> so I'm very embarrassed. As usual, not to change. So this is day three. I'm at Ike Bokuro. I just went to Big Camera and picked up a SIM card, finally, for my phone. Uh, the people kindly installed it for me, luckily, because it seemed like a huge hassle. Um, and now I'm in front of anime, which is anime related things and there's a queue in front of the school shop here I'm wondering what it is not sure what they're queuing for and the weather is disastrous so it's a good day uh, to be in the more shopping style area so I'm gonna go to animate then I'm gonna go to Sunshine City see if I can find a Pokemon Center so and maybe afterwards I'll go to Shibuya I'm not sure I'll have to wait and see but it's not a day to go visiting outside that's for sure but I think it might be raining all week so luckily Japan is a big kind of umbrellas so I don't feel embarrassed walking around in a crowd annoying everybody with my umbrella and since I'm tall I can just go like whoops on top of everybody so let's enter this anime shop and probably get uh, blasted with anime and music and yeah I'm looking forward to it let's go guys for about 45 minutes there before getting served they actually give you the menu while you're waiting in line and they actually even take your order when you're waiting in line <laughs> I'm getting used to this vlogging thing aren't I? and it's nothing like I've ever tasted nothing compared uh, to the ones I had in Belgium it's super rich I had the recommendation bowl which was noodles, soup, pork, vegetables, egg uh, which is really really good just the pork was a little too much but that's because I'm not used to eating meat so I've never had this much meat in a week but it was absolutely mind-blowingly delicious totally worth the wait to get actually kind of cold waiting outside and then you get this huge bowl of rich flavor-filled ramen which I don't know it was really de delicious so it's right here behind me so still in Ikebukuro now I'm gonna find uh, I think it's called Sunshine City something like that and I'm gonna find the Pokemon and I'm so full. I'm bursting. <laughs> I'm it. So good. Let's go. Super potato, which sell retro secondhand games. Not sure I'm allowed to film in here. Not sure you can even hear me. This is incredible. They've got, they've got everything. Literally. I'm kind of afraid of being told off in so I'm hiding. They've got Sega. Just my entire childhood. Look at that! I played this game. I played that.
so you know guys, old school Pokemon like first gen, two gen, maybe third gen max. Or my dad, but definitely first gen, so that's what I'm looking for today. Mm. I wish I could get a Pokemon phone case, but they don't have like, my iPhone is too old. They don't have lower than six. I mean look, seven. Six. But mine is too old. I need five. I really like this tote bag, but it has no price. But if this one is 40 bucks and that one is 70 bucks, yeah, I guess this one will probably be out of my budget. But look how cute it is! Me? Ah. There aren't that many first gen Pokemon. I mean, got the starters and Odish. Mm. Oh, Meow, it's from first gen, Pikachu obviously, oh, Psyduck, oh, actually, yeah, there are a few Dragonites, and a bunch of Pokeballs, <laughs> oh, and Eevee. The art on these bags is so cute, look at this one. Oh my goodness. I wish I could bring one of these home with me. On the price. It's 3,000 yen. So about 30 bucks for a tote bag. Mm, I'm not sure about that. These are cute too. <laughs> They're about 15 bucks. Okay, I just bought the sketchbook, but I might just get this one. Though. I mean, it's just the cover and then a bunch of paper, so... So far, I'm not finding anything that I really, really like. Not something I've been looking for. I'm looking for like first-gen figurines, but maybe maybe I should go to some second-hand store or something. Which one do you guys prefer best? Mm, kind of like this one a little more. I may have found the last one iPhone 5 but no definitely not <laughs> look at this pattern <laughs> I love this pattern so much but I do not need it want it don't need it see ya Aww. And look at it no I said no 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 I also kind of want this Everything. <laughs> Stop buying things. I'm actually pretty happy with all the Pokemon. Let's go for some gacha. Let's we'll see if I've changed. Okay, that can change. I do not want a Bulbasaur, so I have one shot. Anything but a Bulbasaur. I got exactly the one I wanted. The damage is done. I got a little too hooked with the gacha. I went back for more and I played too long because I got a double. I got a Gengar, I got a Bulbasaur, which I didn't want. Not because I don't like Bulbasaur, but more because I already have a figurine of a Bulbasaur. Um, I got a Mew and then I got another Mew. That's where I should have stopped. Uh, gambling. Anyway. <laughs> This is it for me now in uh, Sunshine City. I don't think there's anything else I want to see. So... I'm going to sit down here because there are a lot of seats and I'm going to figure out what I'm gonna go, where I'm going to go next. This is Animate Annex where they sell cosplay stuff and secondhand cosplay stuff. Not sure I can film her, by the way. I'm filming anyway. So it's already starting to get dark and I was going to go back to well, 
go back. Actually, I was gonna go ahead and go to Shibuya, and then I discovered uh, the street, <laughs> which seems full of entertainment. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna walk through there, and we'll see what time it is when I'm done. I don't know how, how late shops they open there. So maybe I still have time to go to Shibuya, but I don't want to rush it. That's my one thing. I want to take my time, knowing that. Uh, Today's Friday and I'm leaving uh, Tokyo on Tuesday, so I need to choose. I need to choose carefully what I'm gonna do. Um, so anyway, let's walk through there. Here we have a Tokyo hands that I want to visit. Come on, Tokyo hands. There we go. And then this entire beautiful street. So let's do that. I don't know if you can hear me over this noise. <laughs> don't ask how, but somehow. I found myself in the pedestrian underground walking area and I just walked from what seemed to be Shinjuku to the... I don't even know where I am right now Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building, I think? I'm not even sure To be honest, I'm kind of lost and I've been underground for way too long so now I'm just looking for a way out any way out really <laughs> yeah I heard there was like an underground pedestrian area where you could go all around the um, Tokyo I think didn't expect, my, uh, didn't expect to find myself in it at all okay I think if I move yes I see some air No clue where I am, guys. No clue at all. Let's see. Let's find the map. Come with me. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, I'm here. And I don't know if I need to go there, there, or there. And basically, where was I before? I think I came out of Shinjuku Station either there or there. And I walked all underground all the way to here. Whoa! And now I don't know if the view is here, here or here. Up and then I saw a sign saying observatory so behind me is a view of Shinjuku and um, this is free completely free so it's definitely not as high it's not the uh, Tokyo sky tree it's not 350 meters but the view is pretty nice especially I'm, I'm so happy that I came here at night so I have the difference with the sky tree view and this view which is amazing it's a more modern view it's I'm gonna try and find a look where there's not too much of a glare from the inside lights. And there's also a dining area, which seems kind of fancy. So that's good. I'm gonna head down now. I'm gonna try my find my way back to Golden Guy. I'm lost. Uh, not completely lost. I know I'm in Shinjuku, and I'm. I mean, I I'm looking for something, and I can't find it. That's what I mean by I'm lost. Okay, let me just show you what I'm dealing with here on a Friday night. So navigating 
with all these people, Friday night, tourists, uh, people going home, people going home for the weekend. Uh, plus, looking at my maps, I keep going around and around and around and around and I'm getting a little frustrated and annoyed and um, so I'm just gonna walk peacefully, follow the crowd, hopefully I'll get somewhere. I just want to see Golden Guy because I'm sure it'll be packed with tourists and they're like tiny tiny bars so I don't expect to actually sit down and drink anything, that's the worst thing. So I just want to see it. And then I want to go back to the hostel and I need to, you know, as usual, empty my camera, empty my phone, prepare the day for tomorrow because tomorrow I have to change a hostel because mine is packed so I have to go to another one. Ah, so yeah. <laughs> it's getting really late and I want to be back. Okay, let's do this. All these tiny little bars where you can have either a cover charge, no cover charge, happy hour, it depends and sometimes you can only fit one or two people here so usually a bunch of locals or a bunch of tourists. Yep. Welcome to Golden Guy. I know I should go in one of these little things to really experience it but by myself I just don't feel like, I'll, I'll just feel weird. Hang on a second. I want to add something. Hey! This is the present. Back in Belgium. Just editing this piece of footage. And I'm realizing something. I'm saying I don't want to go into Golden Guy. Not because it's scary. Not because it's filled with drunken people. No. I'm not going in there because... I'm not feeling comfortable about being alone in a foreign country. That's the only reason. Give me Golden Guy at the end of my trip to Japan, I would have gone in there, no problem. This was my third day in Tokyo. I was feeling very uneasy and I was alone. I was feeling a little lonely. I was seeing all these people having fun in bars and I was all by myself. But yeah, if I would go back to Golden Guy, I would definitely go back in there. No doubt about it. Alone or not, I would... I kind of regret not going, gotta be honest, but I understand the feeling. It was my first trip, my first solo trip. Couldn't understand the language, couldn't read the signs. Understandable. But yeah, I just wanted you guys to know that it's not because it wasn't safe. It's not because there were a bunch of drunk people. It looked actually pretty inviting. But I kind of chickened out and I kind of regret it now. But I guess gotta accept it and it's something I get to look forward to on my next trip to Japan. Anyway, sorry for interrupting. Shouldn't happen again, hopefully. Let's go back. Yeah. I like this light. It's great. <laughs> I'm done for today. I'm gonna find my way back to the hostel, back to Shinjuku station, and then the Yamanote line. Back, 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 back. See you either later or tomorrow, guys. Forgot to say, this is the vending machine pick of the day. Royal milk tea. Definitely a Japanese thing about it anywhere else and it wasn't bad but it tasted a little very sweet I found so yeah